guys and welcome to Zozo Cooks Keto. Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect oven baked and crispy garlic parmesan wings. Let's get cooking. For this recipe I use 7 pounds of full chicken wings that have been washed and drained. Yep, 7 pounds. This is one of my family's favorite dishes, and so I like to make a lot. But don't fret, it's very easy to scale this recipe down to something more manageable. Use a bowl for my wingtips, 50 grams of butter, a quarter cup of finely grated Parmesan, one teaspoon of powdered garlic, two tablespoons of garlic infused canola oil, or any oil you prefer, salt and pepper for some seasoning, a roll of paper towels, and a sharp knife. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to break down these wings. Even though this does take a little bit of extra effort, it is quite a bit cheaper to do this than to buy them pre-cut. Take a wing, and we're going to find the first joint between the tip and the flat. Gently cut between these two joints. If it's in the right spot, it should just slide through. Now feel for the joints between the flat and the drumette. You're looking for a bone that is rounded on the top. Run your knife on the outside of that rounded bone and then cut straight through. Once again, feel for where the joint meets and slide your knife through. Feel for the rounded bone of the drumette that connects to the top of the flat. Cut around it and then down. Now do this for the remaining wings. Don't be too hard on yourself if you don't get it perfect. This process is a little finicky. In the end, they're still going to taste great. With your wing tips, you can use them in a bone broth, freeze them for later, or just toss them. The secret to crispy oven baked wings is you have to dry them. This is where the paper towels come in. Grab your wings and squeeze as much moisture out as possible before returning them to a dry bowl. You cannot skip this step. If you do, the water will steam your wings instead of baking them, and you'll end up with a soggy, pale wings. Nobody wants that. Add the garlic-infused canola oil, along with salt and pepper, and get your hands in there and mix it really well. We want to make sure each wing is well-coated and seasoned. Now it's time to prep our baking trays. In order to keep our wings nice and crispy, I'm going to bake them raised up on a cooling rack. And to prevent the wings from sticking, we're going to spray both sides of the rack with some cooking spray. I recommend doing this to both sides because from my experience, I found that sometimes the drippings will run to the underside of the rack and cause the wings to stick. Ordinarily, I would say take your baking sheet, line it with foil, and then pop in your cooling rack. But I ran out of foil, so I suggest you do that anyway for the sake of easy cleanup. Evenly space your wings on the cooling rack, making sure they're not touching. I've decided to do one rack with just flats and the second with drumettes, but it doesn't really matter. They're finally ready to pop in the oven. Because I'm baking two racks of wings, I'm not only going to flip the wings every 15 minutes to get an even golden brown, but I'm also going to rotate the trays out to make sure both sets are cooked evenly. And here is the final product. Pop the freshly baked wings into a large bowl. Ooh, doesn't that look lovely? Take your butter, melt it, and pour it over the wings. Combine the Parmesan and garlic powder. Toss the wings in the butter.
and sprinkle half the mixture over the wings. Give them a good coat. Shake the remaining mixture over the wings and serve. For one wing that's drumette or flat, the macros are around 5.3 grams of fat, 0 grams of fiber, 0.1 grams of total carbs, and 6.8 grams of protein. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see more, click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Mmm, mmm. Yummy nummies.